Now we're recording. All right, we're looking at the second day of hyperbolas right here. So let's remember, a horizontal hyperbola is x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Everybody should be writing this down. You should not be watching something. Your phone should be away. Jalen Fisher. Your phone should be away. Your phone should be away. You should be paying attention to what's going on right now. Okay. All right. Please write this down. Don't ask me questions like I don't know how to do this later because we're on your phone. Vertical hyperbola, y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. Okay? h comma k is the center. a is the center. Is a is the distance from the center to the vertices. Shh. B is the distance from the center to the co-vertices. Okay? All right. In this case, if we were going to do this, our center is what? What's in between these two? What point would this be right here? Zero, zero. Okay? It's vertical because it's up and down. So I know I'm going to look at this one. It's vertical, so I, I'm going to look at this one up here. And so I'm looking, this is one away, so my A equals one. These are four away. You see these right here? Yeah. One, two, three, four. That's B. So now I should be able to put in the equation. Y squared over 1 minus X squared over 4 times 4 is what, guys? 16 equals 1. That's your standard form. You, yeah. Okay. Yep. So we've got the center. Okay. We know that the vertices are one away, yeah. one above, one below. Right. We know that the co-vertices are four away on either side. So I know A is one, B is four. Okay. So it's Y squared. There's nothing, center is plus zero, right? So we don't have to worry about that. A is one. And then we've got X squared, we know it's plus zero. And it's B squared, which is 16. Okay. okay. All right. Yep. Number two is the same kind of a thing. This is horizontal. So I'm going to look at the horizontal one. Your center is in between these two points right here. So our center in this case is, we're going to go over 5, down 2. So it's 5, negative 2. Okay. My A value is 3 away. Somebody pull the door closed, please. Maybe Jordan, who needs to then face the front of the room instead of the back. And then B equals, I want to go up to here, that's 7 away. So then it's just x minus 5 squared over 3 times 3 is 9 minus y, oh, this is a negative 2, y plus 2 squared over 7 times 7 is 49 equals 1. Right there. Okay, we need to be able to find the standard form if we're given the vertices and co-vertices. So right here, again, on these notes, the reason I really like them is because they give you step-by-step step what you're supposed to do. First, find the center using the midpoint formula with the vertices or co-vertices. Step two, use the vertices to find A, use the co-vertices to find B. If given the focus point, you use the formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared to find the missing part. And then finally, determine the direction of the hyperbola to write the equation. Okay, so let's do number three. Okay, so I have plus or minus five comma zero and zero plus or minus two. What does this mean for the vertices and the co-vertices? What would the center be? 
My vertices, they changed the x changed, but my co-vertices, the y changed, and the other ones are zero. Zero, zero. Because these didn't change. Those oh, stay zero. Please don't talk things. unless you're asking a question while I'm teaching. Jordan, shh. So the vertices tells you how far away it is from the center. But we noticed that it just changed the x value but didn't change the y. The co-vertices chain is the distance from the center. We just changed the y. The x is still zero. So I know the center has to be zero. Yeah. Now, this is, makes it really easy. If this is 0, the vertices are 5 away. So that's A. Would it be the same for uh, vice versa, too? Yep. Okay. The co-vertices, they are 2 away. So B is 2. OK? So which one, the vertices, changed the x value? So I know that it's horizontal. If the vertices was 0, 2 or 0, some other number up here, then it would be vertical. Then I'm going to say x squared over 5 times 5 is 25. And y squared minus y squared over 2 times 2 is 4 equals 1. All right. Now we're going to get a little more difficult. Okay, we're going to use the midpoint formula to find the center. We don't have a zero, zero here, so we're going to actually do it. We're going to say five, four plus four divided by two, and eight plus negative eight divided by two. Four plus four is divided by two is four. So my center, the x value is four. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is just 0. So far, so good? Okay. Now, the A value, we're going to look at the vertices. It's not the X that changed, it's the Y. So 0 to 8 means the A value has to be 8. Okay, B, the co-vertices. So I'm looking at X. 1 to 7 is how much? Six. One, uh, four, excuse me. 4 plus what gives me 7? Three. 3. There we go. No, I said that crazy. All right. Now, if we look at this, notice these are the same. The x values are the same. It's the y that changed. So this has to be vertical. So we're going to use that vertical equation up at the top. So we say y squared, because if we add 0 to it, we get the same. 8 times 8 is minus x minus 4 squared. And then b squared is 9 equals 1. All right, let's turn it over. We're going to skip 5 and 6, and we're going to go to 7, because I want to do at least one with a focus point. Yep. Yep. So 7. Let's look at 7. Ah, let's look at 8. 7's easier, so let's look at 8. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out what the center is. So that's 2 plus 6 over 2, 5 plus 5 over 2. So we end up with a center... 2b, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, center's done. All right, so A, which changed here, the x or the y for the vertices? X. So 4 plus what gives me 6? 2. All right, now we're looking at focus points. So remember, we're not getting B, we're getting C. Okay, so 4 plus what gives me 7? Three. 3. Now we have to do this equation. C squared equals A squared plus B squared so that we can find B. So we're going to go 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4 plus B squared. We're going to subtract 4 from both sides and we get 5 equals B squared. So B is 
the square root of 5. Okay, we don't really care about that because we want b squared. Because we know the equation, right, is x minus h squared over um, a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. And now I am just filling in those things. So x minus h is 4 squared. A squared is 4 minus y minus 5 squared all over 5 equals 1. So right there, that's my equation. Okay, we're going to do number, we're going to skip down and do number 12 because it's a co-vertices and a focus point, so that's a little bit different. And it's got a crazy square root 51 in there. Okay? So I'm going to look at number 12. What's the first thing we do? If we look at the front of this, what does step one say under how to find these? What, what formula are we going to use? So if you look at the front right here, what does this say to use? Midpoint formula, okay. So we're going to say negative 2 plus negative 2 divided by 2 and 0 plus 10 divided by 2. Negative 2 plus negative 2 divided by 2 gives me a negative 2. 0 plus 10 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So there's my center. Okay? Now, if we want to find B, we're going to look at our co-vertices. And we're going to look at the y value. Shh. So 5 plus what gives me 10? 5. Okay, now we're going to look at our c value because this is a focus point. What did I add to this negative 2? What did I add from negative 2 as the center to get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 51? Square root of 51. Okay, so that's c. So I know it's weird because it's that square root of 51 there, but don't worry about it. Now we're going to go c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So we're going to get 51 because the square root of 51 squared is 51 equals a squared, we don't know, plus 25. Subtract 25 from both sides. Focus, guys. Shh. And we get 26 equals a squared. Okay. So now we're going to go x plus 2 over 26, that's my a squared, minus y minus 5 squared over 25, because that's my b squared, equals 1. So I did one of each type of problem, okay? We have one where we have the co-vertices and a focus point, one where we have vertices and focus point, and I did two where you have vertices and co-vertices, okay? So you should be able to do all your homework using these as an example. If you want to finish the back, I will give you those points back. That's fine. But you also need to do this homework, so you have two things. That's fine.